Anchors away, welcome to Big D Country. And, well, in a few days it's supposed to be fall. But not here in Texas. Oh, no, 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 no. The 90s want to stick around and still want to try to kill me. Well, we're not in the dangerous 100s, but still. I mean, even the 80s can feel like 90s. It's still uncomfortable to sleep at night sometimes. But, oh, yeah. I got to tell you. I got something I got to tell you. I was able to get a doctor's appointment. Yeah. So, after this recording... Uh, I'm going to be going to the doctor's about 1, 1.30, because i got to be there by 2. It's an established appointment. I couldn't believe it, because when I was in the city, I had to wait like a month or two months just to get a doctor's appointment, and it's an established appointment. But I also wanted to look at a uh, uh, swollen leg on, on one, one leg, just one leg. The other leg was normal, but the only feels, uh, uh, feels like it's swollen, but... Uh, Wanted to take a look at it nonetheless, and then probably my chin. I mean, it's going down. The swelling has gone down significantly, but uh, the lump is still where you could uh, uh, notice it a tad bit. But uh, I still wanted to look at at least look at it, you know. But other than that, yeah, I'm finally going to have a doctor's. And, and good news. My official Texas ID is coming probably today or tomorrow. I saw it on the form of delivery. Now, if only the, yeah, so if only the Publishers Clearinghouse wanted to come uh, and then, you know, make me a winner of one of those uh, pay for life three day. Yes, I made a long shot because one morning, you know, I was getting up, you know, doing what I t- tried to do. Yada yada. And I saw a fa- it looked like it was a famous Fred Van. It almost tripped me. It just about tripped me because I thought it was the publisher's clearing house. Yeah, the publisher clear- clearing house Pride Patrol. Yeah. Because I could see the window. My, my window faces out the front uh, and, the, and the balcony, and I could still see the car. And it was a different car. What did the Pride Patrol? And it was for so, it was another, I guess, a building across the street. But yeah, Prince DJ not a uh, not a week for life winner, not yet. Uh, I'm still entering though, Steve Harvey. You owe me, Steve Harvey. Anyway, ah, uh, but anyway, uh, so yeah. I got some crazy stories before we get to the NFL pickup, uh, the aftermath of week two. First of all, the Paxton trial is officially over here in Texas. Uh, Paxton, who was impeached three months ago, we was left without an attorney general for three months. Then, for the past two weeks, they went on a circus of a trial. Uh, the House did not have no proof. And then they had about, what, 16 articles? 16 articles of impeachment that they tried to get passed and removed out of office on. And I think a lot of them was corruption charges and then being unfit for office and all that crap. Nope. Um, he was acquitted. He was definitely acquitted. And then after he was found um, not guilty, all the judge went off. Well, meaning the lieutenant governor. He went off. I mean, off on a rant. Wow. And yeah, that was that was a baseless weird case that I ever seen. I was, I was watching the case off and on because this case been all day. And they had two weeks of it. Two weeks of witnesses and all that stuff and I did Oh my god. But uh, in other words it sounded like Madlock, it sounded like Law and Order, it sounded like uh, Perry Mason just a tad bit. But no substance. No, I mean that's. I guess that's how they got acquitted. I mean, it was just no substance. I mean, the house did a terrible job bringing the bringing articles without any evidence, and then you know bringing witnesses that didn't bring any substance to the uh, the impeachment. It was a waste. It was a total waste. And I wouldn't do a separate rant about it, but I just want to give my thoughts on it 
after seeing it. And it was supposed to be the first impeachment trial in Texas. It was supposed to be an historic impeachment, and that was a waste. That was a wasted time in history. I mean, you cannot get two weeks back. The Senate can't get two weeks back. Paxton can't get two weeks back. Well, he did start it back on his job today. I mean, uh, yesterday, I should say. Because uh, yesterday it was my night football. But anyway, yeah, that was a total waste. That was a total scam. Total scam. Total scam. First impeachment, uh, one of the first impeachment in history and stuff like that. And no, no. Uh-uh. Oh, yes, and they're talking about a damn government shutdown again. But not like the one where they talk about the uh, the, the, the debt ceiling that almost gave me a heart attack. No, this is just a regular uh, government shutdown where uh, the government runs out of money on October 1st. But don't worry, don't worry, people on Social Security, uh, uh, veteran benefits uh, will still get their money. I don't know about food stamps because I know it's in a separate farm bill. But I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Social Security will get paid. So thankfully, I'll be able to pay the rent. Thank God. But with that debt ceiling thing, I was like really, real, uh, really worried. I mean, it, the Freedom Caucus made New Jersey, now that I can mention it, because the Freedom Caucus made New Jersey seem like a walk in a park or seem like it's a, a roller coaster Rather than, because I always never wanted to stay in New Jersey because they wanted me to live on $5 a month of food stamp. Uh, yes, for the new citizens, you heard me right. They wanted me to live on $5 a month of food stamp. That was in New Jersey. And uh, so, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, the Freedom Caucus just, did, did he, and then Trump said that he was a boy to shut down. And he said that the, uh, if the Republicans don't get a fair deal, he would support a shutdown. How could he? How could he? The different jobs, the different federal jobs would be furloughed. Uh, and God forbid if uh, if TSA had to be furloughed or even the uh, even the uh, the tower, because we almost lost the tower during one the government shutdown. I mean, this is absolutely insane. This is absolutely insane. Why can't we get a Congress who actually cares about helping the people? Oh, oh, military, you don't have to worry about it because they want to, they want to, uh, ex, uh, they want to give you more. That's right. They want to give you, so I must not be in the military so I can't get help. Is that it? I should be in the military then. Let me be in the military. Oh, but I'm partly blind. I'm legally blind or I have mental illness. I can't fight in the military. Even though I would if there was a draft. They would just send me home, but I would still go because I won't be a chicken. Anyway, so uh, Chief Justice uh, had gave me a story, uh, and I want to continue. Uh, I want to continue it during the uh, NFL uh, pickup, and if I can find this, I Come on. Da, da, da. Oh, and I got a brand new NFL pickup song that will be a part of the uh, of the festivity. So I got a brand new pickup song, but I also got a song that uh Yeah, I also got a song that will um you know, for the week 1 incident. Okay. So, for those people that are on Direct TV and Netstar yeah, yeah, direct, yeah, I said it right, Directive TV, Next Star, Charter, and Disney, the fans have spoken, and you will get your NFL football. Yes, there has been talk because uh, for a long time, Direct TV and, um, and different channels were on, uh, I guess was on uh, a uh, disagreement. And according to Chief Justice, and I just found out from the other night, that football is coming back, y'all. Are you ready for some football? That's right. Now, you probably might have gotten it either uh, Sunday night. I mean, yeah, Sunday or Monday. If it haven't started, it'll probably start this week. I hope it will start this week or next week. Uh, Chief Justice, please let me know if that is factual. Uh, if not, then I will keep up with the story, and um, and then please let me know if it's uh, this week or next week they will start on 
uh, bring back the F- NFL for the affected people. That's with DirecTV. I know a lot of hotels that I've been to had DirecTV. We didn't even have Fox for a while. and Or they didn't have Fox for a while. Uh, NetStar and also Charter and also Disney. So, y'all guys got your football back. Yay! So then you can follow up with the NFL pickup. <laughs> okay. So that story brings you right into uh, the NFL pickup. And here we go. It's the NFL pickup on the big D zone. Deep in Galveston, Texas. It's the week two after math right now. Deep from Galveston, Texas, cause they said fire to the game. Because week one wasn't the same. It was weird, it was wild, it was just another roller coaster ride. Roller coaster ride, cause they said fire to the game. And week one wasn't the same. Yeah, I know I'm talking about week two, but that was how I thought. I thought. All right. <laughs> now that I got that one, I got to do a separate recording uh, for those particular songs. So here we go. Really? Really, you started me off again? All right, all right, all right. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. I got to start the, the week. Come on. All right. All right, so here we go. Here is your final from the uh, week two standing. Uh, the Vikings and the Eagles. Thankfully, the Eagles won. This was a double down, definitely, by the score of 34-28. So that is definitely a win because of the double down stipulation. All right. Another double down stipulation was the Ravens versus the Bengals. So definitely two wins right off the gate. Uh, Ravens won by the score of 27-24. Okay. So a little bit better this week because after that fluke, yes, that win was a fluke. Okay. All right. Malachi, what is wrong with your Detroit Lions? That win on Thursday night was a fluke. They was not supposed to win. Okay? They haven't been in the Super Bowl. And I said this before. I watched a lot of Super Bowls off and on. I even watched the Super Bowl from a hotel. And sometimes I watch from YouTube. Even though I get the halftime show from YouTube. I don't know when the Lions was on the Super Bowl because they did not exist in the Super Bowl. Because they never played in the Super Bowl. They can't even get to the Super Bowl. Probably, maybe the last time they've been in the Super Bowl before I was even thought of. I was not even here if they ever made it to the Super Bowl. I wasn't even on this earth the last time they made it to the Super Bowl. And you was all praising the Lions, praising the Lions because they beat the Chiefs. But that was one time. And you know what? The next time the Lions gonna gonna go against the Chiefs, the Chiefs will beat the Lions' head. I'll say it again. The Chiefs will beat the Lions' head. And just for that, I will not make the Lions a part of the double down no more. This will be the last and final time that I will make the Lions a part of the Double Down. So, thank you, Malachi. As a matter of fact, when you graduate, why don't you go to Detroit? We can have your Detroit Red, Red, uh, Red um, the Red, uh, the, uh, what's the hockey team? The Red Hawks, the Red Hawks, the Detroit Piston, the Detroit Lions. Why don't you go to Detroit after you graduate from, uh, from high school? matter of fact, why don't they, they're probably colleges. There are probably colleges that you could go to your toy, Detroit. That is your dream city. Why don't you go there when you graduate? You talk about the Lions so much, and you have you have teeth that just fighting so bad and football early in the morning. Really? Really? Again, the Lions will not be a part of the Double Down. No more. No more. Anyway, now that I got that off my chest. Okay, so 
better timing, the Seahawks did beat the Lions uh, 37-31. to uh, 31. There's only a few point differences, though. Ah! Ah! I had to get that man off my chest. I had to do it. I had to do it. Anyway. Colts beat the Texans. Yeah. I'm glad I made it to a double down. And, yeah, so right now, so far, I already have one, two, three, four wins by way of double down. Uh, the, the Colts beat the uh, Texans by the score of 31 to 20. And, oh, Tom Brady's team, the Buccaneers, won by the score of 27 to 17 over the Bears. Uh, the Chiefs did much better this weekend after an embarrassing loss by the fluke of the Lions. Uh, they did much better this Sunday, uh, winning, beating the Jaguars, Jacksonville but Jaguars by the score of 17 to 9. Okay. Green Bay Packers and the Falcons. Oh, yeah, and that's, okay, how many wins does it so far this week? So it's going to be good. So it's, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five wins and only one loss thanks to the stupid Tom Brady. Okay, so one loss. Okay, so the 19, uh, 17 9, the Chiefs won. And thank God. Anyway, now we get to the pa- uh, Packers Fal- uh, Falcons game. So it's 9 uh, 1 already, as far as the week is concerned. Well, make that 10 1 because the Falcons uh, beat the Packers 25 24 and it was the double down. All right, so this was a double down in two, so it's going to be uh, 10-1. And Chief Justice, you will be happy to know, well, you probably already know because you watched the game, but you are happy to know that the Bills have beat the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Um, but it was a double down, and uh, the Raiders are another official Big D Country team. So, uh, so the Big D Country still is 10-1. to uh, thanks to the Bills, score 38-10. to 10. Okay. Chargers, Titans. I think I did say the Titans is going to win that, and they did uh, by the score of 27-24. to 24. So that's the 11th win. I think that was, yeah, I think that was a ride or die, I think it was. Okay. Here's another ride or die. Uh, 49ers versus the Traders, the Rams. And I call them Traders because they left St. Louis without a football uh, team. We had to cheer for the uh, the Chiefs. Um, but the score is 30-25, to 25, the 49ers. All right. So that will be 12 win and one loss for the week. All right, there we go. Well... Titans did a lot better this time. And I said this was going to be a double down. So, yeah, double downs definitely help, especially if the ride or die doesn't work out. But so I said 12, 12 wins, one last loss for the week. Make that 13 because the Giants uh, beat the Cardinals by the score of 31 to 28. All right. The Jets and the Cowboys squared off. And the winner of this affair is the Dallas Cowboys by the score of 30 to 10. And so that will be 13 wins because it was a double down. Well, I got to make this a second loss. Second loss. Only because, only because. The team with the stupidest name in football in the history of the NFL. Oh, the Commanders is so scary. Oh, oh, I don't want to play against the Commanders. Oh, oh. Yeah, the Commanders beat the Broncos by the score of 33-35. to 35. Yeah, 35-33, I should say. Long shot. But anyway. Uh, anyway. Stupid commanders. So that is 
13 wins, 2 losses. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Thank you, Dolphins. Make that 14. Thank you, Dolphins. You beat the Patriots by the final score of 24-17. So you gave me 13 wins, Dolphins. Appreciate it. That was the Sunday prime time game. Oh, wait. Wait. You mean to tell me Monday night had two games? Yeah, I forgot about it because I did do this when I was in podcast moment. Uh, just in case if I would have had a nervous breakdown between August 28th and September 2nd. Anyway. Okay. So, this will be 14 wins because uh, 14 and 15 wins. So, my final score will definitely be 15 to 2. So it's still a good week, too. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. So, let me tell you how that plan out. Uh, the Saints and the Panthers were double down. Uh, the Saints win by the score of 20. And they, the Panthers have 17. Uh, the Browns and the Steelers. Uh, yeah, so that was a double down. So... 26 to 22. 15 to 2 is my final score for the week. Which is still 